Hello and welcome back. This is uh, Paul again, your host, with another conversation on artificial intelligence. Today, I want to talk about the recent interview that I had with Eugenio Kulurcello, who is a professor at the University of Purdue, and also uh, he is the founder of a startup by the name of Forward Next. Before we go into that, if you are a new visitors to this channel, it is an honor, a privilege to have you here. If you're coming back, thank you so much for coming back. So before we go and introduce this interview and my three takeaways, let's first understand what is the topic and why it is important. So today, we have lots of intelligence applications that are carried by smartphones the world or voice devices or you know the drones or the etc but the reality is the intelligence the brain is not really on the device the brain is not on your smartphone most of the cases it's not on your alexa or google home it's not on um you know on your camera where is the intelligence the intelligence is actually somewhere far away there in, in the company's headquarters. It's, it's uh, this uh, huge, uh, you know, this huge uh, called data centers, which we see quite a bit of them here in Silicon Valley. It's like big buildings and like computers and computers. That's where the intelligence is. So tomorrow, and the objective of this interview is that tomorrow more of this intelligence will move from the company headquarter to the device itself. And how is that interesting for you? Well, at least a couple of uh, reasons. First, because this will increase privacy and we'll, we'll come into that in a minute. Two, because it'll make your phone, it'll make your Alexa of the world much, much more smarter. Now, question, why was not possible to do this before? Why did the company before created devices that were not smart enough? Perhaps you said they wanted to steal your data. Not really. I don't think that that's really the the, the only reason. It's, it's you no. Know, most of these companies are based on the kind of uh, of business model. The reason is instead that the amount of processing power, so the complexity of the chips that have to be inside the device, is so high today that it will consume so much energy. So the this wouldn't be basically practical in in today's. Uh, uh devices but tomorrow devices with this new technology that eugenio and other companies are developing it will be possible so the three take takeaways from the interview the first one is that because this intelligence is moving from the company at the quarters to your device directly what will happen is that we will have more privacy if you like respect because the data do not have to travel somewhere else they stay in your device, so it's your and mine device. The second thing is we will have more personalized applications, and that's because now this new device can look at you the entire day long. So they can look at video for a much longer period of time, that they, they can listen to your voice all the time. And so they can personalize you know the response to either voice or you know text texting and, and various other applications that we know in a in a much better way. Third, and, and, and additionally, an additional benefit is that they will be more aware of the context. And that's always a consequence of the fact that they will be on 24. You know, like this intelligence is going to be on all the time because it's going to analyze everything that you're doing uh, real time. And then there will be new capabilities as well added. What are these new capabilities? And this le leads to my second point. These new capabilities will be kind of a smart cameras. So cameras that are able to identify right away, like, you know, objects, identify right away um, uh, intruders. And uh, you might say, but I see some of this today. It's not exactly the same thing because today you always have to send the data to the, com the company headquarter and then they come back and the complexity of these algorithms is limited to a certain point. Tomorrow, the data stay there, everything is done much faster and with better algorithms, basically. So the other thing is, same things applies to auto autonomous vehicle. So basically, they will be able to have many more cameras and many more sensors, so that will increase 
the you know the the safety on those type of uh, vehicles and then the funds themselves just to give you an example of an application is not possible today and will be possible tomorrow is that if you're looking for the picture of you and your girlfriend while you were at the Cayman Islands it's today that's not really possible because it's lots of layers of interpretation and search and visual search that needs to be carried on the phone itself whereas tomorrow it's going to be possible and it's going to be done at the phone level itself that leads me to the final point and the final point is that in the next one to two years we will see more and more intelligent devices coming to the market including your smartphone these intelligent devices not only will be more powerful themselves but will enable a new generation of intelligence a new generation of um, algorithms that will expand the range of capabilities of you know artificial intelligence at your service so with that said if this is something that appeals to you then subscribe to the channel and you'll be notified when the interview goes live and if you have suggestions or comments about this video and the following videos or you want to you know suggest a new topic altogether please comment on the comments below and i'll be more than happy to take your uh, comments into account thank you so much and have a wonderful day